guys welcome to another video today I'm sharing with you how I decorated my closet as well as my wardrobe if you haven't seen the first video you should probably pause this there's a link in the description area underneath the video where you can actually see the before so that you can get an idea of how this all came about so without further ado let's get started oh if you are new to my channel be sure to subscribe now I would love for you to be a part of the almond summers family hit the notification bell right next to it so that you can be notified every time I upload a video so let's get started you guys to make it easy for you to find these products that I've used in this video I will add links for you in the description area below the video I wanted to keep things simple with my jewelry, so I purchased these three things from Amazon. I got the earring stand as well as this bust, and I placed this on top of this cute little sculpture that is so adorable and lightweight. So moving on to these gorgeous Nicole Miller picture frames, I decided to frame a prayer that I always say whenever I'm having challenges in my life. One of my good friends gave it to me and it means so much to me. So I wanted to frame stuff that actually meant something to me. 1111, if you don't know, it has like different meanings to everyone. And to me, it just has some, a special place in my heart. And I purchased these picture frames from Home Goods. I purchased this beautiful vase at a flea market and I added this beautiful rose. Here's a bracelet stand that I got from Amazon. Um, I actually ordered a different kind of a look for my bracelets, but it didn't come in time, so I'm just gonna use this one for now. I'm loving this all natural hand cream that I found, and I couldn't resist the name Honey Almond, so I had to get it, And but it was super cute, so I just wanted to get it. Now this white jewelry stand Stackers has got all my jewelry in different layers stacked in here I'll have to show you guys in a different video or on my Instagram it's So cute, but this swan I purchased this from Z gallery It's a trinket box and you put your rings and stuff in it. So adorable you guys. I'm so sorry I didn't open it um, to show you and the two tiaras in the back I used those for Halloween costumes two years ago. Okay. Don't judge me. I saw this crown and I just had to have it I purchased it from Ross um, these hands though, I purchased this from a place called Pompous and I put the little Tiffany bag in there. Please disregard the little smudge on the bag. I am OCD and I just wish I had fixed that before I did the video, but sorry. But anyway, the silver uh, jewelry container underneath, I purchased that one from Pottery Barn. Okay, you guys, this is where the fun drawer happens. Yay, this was the renovation drawer that I actually made this drawer, you guys. I made the drawer and I'm super happy because I did it. I placed my scarves in here as well as my handkerchiefs. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of V's there. <laughs> which I love handkerchiefs. I gotta have a handkerchief for everything. If you uh, haven't visited my blog, you should visit, you should see my uh, blog about handkerchiefs and why every woman should carry one. But I use them frequently. So yeah, so I keep my scarves, my handkerchiefs, and my, my handkerchiefs. <laughs> and my um, sunglasses in here. But the sunglasses, I was really trying to find that tray that Ikea has that you can put your sunglasses in and finding a tray for eyeglasses is really hard on the internet. I could not seem to find one, like just couldn't find one. So I went with, get this you guys, I know I'm weird, but this is a spice rack. A spice rack I found and I used for sunglasses it actually works and it's so cute it's it fit my drawer so I just went with it and lastly you guys I just have this one thing that just tickles me and thrills me and I just can't get enough of I installed these sensor lights look how cool this is Look how cool it is. I can never get enough of this. I can never get enough. They're magnets, so the magnet holds the light onto it. Um, and I just, I'm in love. It looks so cute at night. You have to see it at night. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me. That way I can send you pictures because I'm gonna just bug you guys and show you all my cool stuff. Look at this light up here. I just installed this. Um, I actually just decorated this yesterday with these columns because uh, I had a different design which I'll show you in a minute um, but I wasn't loving it so 
I swapped it out for these and I found those columns at Ross again Ross kind of came through on for me on that one but again these lights I can never get enough of check this out Woo! but it's a sensor light so if you walk up to it or walk away you can turn it on and off and it charges by your laptop so that's super cool I love it I added the molding across the top as well as the um, corbel on the side and um, yeah to add a little bit more character to the closet I also put the shoe racks above I, I made those I didn't make those I actually bought those on Amazon and I put them together and put them up there but these are my shoes you guys I'm not like a Louboutin kind of girl I love them but I just would rather spend my money on handbags than shoes so that's me <laughs> And on top of the shoe rack, I actually placed some bins, this cute little hat box that I got from the container store. And I actually had one of the hat boxes, but the pink bins I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. Those two bins, I keep my clutches, handbags, and my hats in the other one on the other side. I also purchased the hangers from Amazon as well. So yeah, I, I will leave the link down below for everything that I purchased to help you guys out. I kind of color coordinated my clothes from like whites down to pinks, down to reds, but I don't normally keep my clothes like that because it's just too time consuming, but nothing against people that actually have the time to do that. <laughs> but I thought it would look super cute for the video. I can try, but I just can't do it. And in the lower part of the closet, I keep my shoes and my boots, as well as this cute pink bin I got from um, Home Goods. And I keep uh, my throw blankets and extra pillows in there. On the other side, I have my tool kit. I know that's random, but I just put it in there because I was tired of working on the closet and going back and forth through the hall closet, so I just stuffed it in here and it was really cute, so I just left it in the, in the video. <laughs> and I can't forget my bunny slippers. Last but not least, this closet right here. This is where I keep my jeans and my sweats and my workout clothes and my beautiful handbags where I have run out of space. <laughs> um, actually, I'm kidding. Some of the handbags I actually put away because I prefer them to be kept, you know, in their packaging. Um, and the drawers, they need to be decluttered, so I didn't really share with you what's in them, but I'll have to do that in a different video. And as well as the other side so yeah but that's pretty much it you guys I'll, I keep my sweats in here and my jeans and no they're not color coordinated either but I am looking to sell some of my stuff when I declutter so stay tuned for more details if you're interested in my uh, you know some of my stuff that I just no longer have a need for or just can't fit anymore and that's it you guys all the products used in this video will be in the description area below this video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Keep the conversation going by leaving a comment down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.